Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, the 23rd of January. I'm James Spann. The weather nice and quiet for the rest of this week. A week ago, we had snow falling in parts of the state. Uh, first off, we had the big geological event early this morning, a magnitude 7.9 quake about 175 miles southeast of Kodiak, Alaska, in the Gulf of Alaska. And that has prompted tsunami watches and warnings. Uh, the warnings in effect for parts of the uh, Pacific Coast of Canada. The watches in effect for parts of the United States Pacific Coast, all the way down to San Francisco. As uh, there's evidence of a tsunami being generated by buoys uh, closer in. That's a look at the projected arrival times. We'll keep an eye on that. In terms of weather. Deep upper trough just north and west of the state, and upper low is north of uh, St. Louis. That brought blizzard conditions to parts of Minnesota and Iowa and South Dakota yesterday, and a lot of rain here, but we are now in a dry slot. And it's cooler, but again, no Arctic air this week. Uh, the cool spot is Fort Payne and Haleyville. They've got 37, Birmingham at 44, highs in the mid-50s today. Colder air back in the western states, but again, nothing like that brutal cold we saw last week. We'll be close to freezing uh, tomorrow morning, Thursday and Friday morning, but no teens this time. There's the watch warning map, winter storm warnings in effect for the northern tip of Maine and also parts of the northwest United States, but things are nice and quiet down here. A marginal risk of severe weather today on the middle Atlantic coast. That's the same system that came through here yesterday. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days, found it through Tuesday morning of next week. Again, the northwest coast the United States, coast of Oregon, Washington State, very wet. Down this way, rain amounts about one-half inch for the north, over one inch for the south. And the next chance of rain will be over the weekend, and we'll talk about that as we go. So, model fans, let's take a look. This is the 06C run of the GFS at noon today. Troughing passing north of the state, and it will be a cool, dry day. Partly to mostly sunny with mid-50s. Tomorrow, the low in the low 30s. The high, the well, GFS, the NAM, both showing 53 for Birmingham. The sky should be sunny. Thursday, colder pockets could see upper 20s. The sky bright and sunny. The high in the upper 50s. And this is Friday. The winds veer into the south. The high should be around 60. The sky will stay sunny. Now, let's talk about the weekend. The moisture comes back. This is the GFS, and uh, during the day Saturday, it's suggesting a chance of rain, maybe nothing overwhelming here certainly not an all-day rain in fact if this is right a decent part of the day could be rain free this is saturday night at midnight a little surface feature in the gulf and again maybe some light rain here and then sunday the gfs looks dry and uh, highs over the weekend would be uh, in the low 60s if this were to verify but the european looks pretty wet here now this is sunday morning at six o'clock and i think uh uh, we'll kind of ride with that. It's got the surface low farther north near Pensacola. So uh, for the weekend, we'll mention a pretty good chance of rain, especially late Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday morning. And we'll fine-tune this as we get closer, but no severe storms. And then Monday, we're dry, seasonal, lows in the 30s, highs maybe around 60. And a week from today, it's a zonal flow for us. And again, a quiet, dry pattern. This is the end of the forecast period, Thursday of next week, the 1st of February. Ooh, a trough developing over North America, and that's going to pull down some colder air. That suggests a chance of rain in advance of a cold front. And let's look at the old European ensemble here. This is valid on uh, Tuesday, the 6th of February. And yeah, this is 360 hours out. We're not trying to forecast the weather. We're trying to forecast a pattern here. And this does show very cold air, very cold air coming down from Canada. And so we're getting signals. And uh, global ensemble output that uh, at some point we could turn pretty cold again, maybe out there toward mid-February. But in the short term, things look nice and quiet. Those are very seasonal. Highs mostly in the 50s, 
Lows mostly in the 30s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.